Hey guys, welcome back to Welcome Home Custom. Today we are going to learn how to assemble our bedside valets. Let's get started. So first thing you're gonna notice about the files is I have a ton of sizes provided. You're gonna to wanna to grab something like this. It's called a kerf tool. So each slot represents a different size of your material. You're gonna to wanna to take your material before you even start to cut and fit your material into the different slots and you're gonna find the best fit. So for me, I found that the 195 file was the best for my uh, Columbia Forest Pure Bond Maple. Um, now with my calipers, it actually measures at about 0 0.20, but once my laser has cut out the Pure Bond, the slot actually is 195 because what it's done is it's taken into account my kerf for my laser. Um, I actually use this now all the time instead of my calipers because I just find it's an easy go-to tool. So let's go ahead and get started on assembling the project. Okay, so let's review all of the components and what you are going to need to assemble. So first and foremost, we have the backer. Uh, it is set up that you can ignore your shelves if you wanted. You could move the shelves up and down if you want. You can ignore the uh, writing, that's fine too, whatever you decide. You have the base of the tray and then the lip of the tray so that you have little cute little compartments. You have two of these. These are uh, used uh, for the ends of the shelf so that they hold your phone or whatever you're gonna put on the shelf in place. You've got the shelves themselves and you've got these fun, cute little uh, question marks. These are actually uh, to manage your cords in the back so that your cords aren't flying around everywhere. I recommend grabbing some glue just in case if you didn't get your slots tight. Uh, you will also need some glue to glue on the fronts of your shelves along with gluing the uh, rim of the base. I also grabbed a hammer because I always make my slot, slots super tight, uh, so I rarely even need to use glue. And again, this type of tool will make it super easy for you, okay? So let's go ahead and start. First thing I'm gonna do is I am going to glue my base and I'm gonna glue my shelves uh, and then we will actually start to assemble. So for this, um, I am just gonna add glue all the way around using my silicone brush. I love the brush in the tray because um, if I'm lazy and I don't clean it right away, uh, I can just peel the glue right off and no harm, no foul. Uh, I also like the other end acts as a scraper so I can clean up edges if I, um, if the glue leaks out. Now, if you wanted to use different woods or if you wanted to stain, I probably would do that first before gluing um, because it's easier and you don't have to try to get into nooks and crannies. So we're gonna go ahead and place this down flat and line it up with the base. I would uh, go around and check your ends to clean them up uh, from any glue spilling out. And then before the glue is even set, I would probably go ahead and put this in, okay? So that way you know your tabs are going to fit okay. So we are going to set it uh, along the long edge 
and I did make my, my slot super tight, of course, and I'm gonna just take a hammer All right, Whew. I made my slot super tight. So that was definitely, I needed to put some effort into that. Um, again, I didn't use any glue to hold that slot in. It is not going anywhere. So now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and attach the fronts of our shelves. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach them first, uh, hammer them in, and then I'm going to glue on the fronts. Something I should note is when you look at this piece, uh, you can see that the slots are uh, closer to one of the bottom edges. You wanna make sure that the slots are lined up so that it's uh, closer to the bottom edge. You don't want it flipped upside down so that your shelf is, is the overlap is hanging underneath. You want the, the, the bigger overhang up top. Okay, so let's go ahead and hammer this one in too. Okay, so now that that is done, we are going to slide our shelves on. Now you'll notice that one shelf has this, this larger slot right here and a slot here. That is so you can put a cord through and your phone can sit right here. Uh, so we are going to slide it into place and then we are going to give it a little tap. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this side we are going to line it up, get it situated, and uh, tap it into place as well. I'm right-handed, so I can't... Uh... You're looking at the back. Okay. So now that we have both of those in place, uh, we are going to go ahead and glue on the fronts. Um, I'm probably just gonna grab some uh, clamp or maybe some blue tape so I can tape them in place so they don't uh, so they don't budge while they are drying. So I'm just going to again just lightly tap some glue on the front of both of these and place this right on top and actually my glue is kind of uh, already setting up in my tray so I may not need to even tape it although I do recommend if you are selling the piece uh, I do recommend using clamps or taping it so that you make sure it's perfect when you um, go to sell it so it does kind of want to lift off let's use the clamp so I'm gonna clamp this down right here. And while this is drying, we can put in our cable management question marks, okay? So on the back side, these are going into these slots right here. And see those went in great, like so. All right, so that is so if you're using, let me see if I have any cords here, I can show you an example. So your cord would hook through this question mark and it would feed through the bottom. So let's, let's see what I'm doing here. Feed it through and then I'm gonna use it, the question mark, so that your cables will go uh, straight down and not show up. You then will feed your cable up through, and that is where you plug in your phone, okay? You see that? And then for the other one, this is formatted for an Apple Watch, Okay, and so the, the circle is for the Apple Watch charger. So this 
uh, you're gonna pop into place, okay? And then you're going to feed the cable down and around the cable management cord. And that way, when you look at the front, when you're looking at the, the flower itself, you're not seeing the cord go through. You're only seeing the cutout of the flower. All right, so this one I did in different woods. So this one I used, um, this is a cherry and a, um, oh, I think this is a mahogany actually. And you can see how I've put some things on here. So if I wanted to, let's say, add my watch, just as an example, I can take my watch off. So here's the charger. And the watch will just sit in place like this. Oops, did I put it on backwards? Flip, flip the watch charger around. There we go. Just like that. And then my phone, which I'm using to record this video, would sit right here. Now I also made a different pattern um, that's a little bit more uh, masculine for the uh, someone that doesn't want the whole floral look in their life. Uh, this one my husband actually snagged from me, so I'm going to have to go steal it for, from him real quick. Okay, so then this is the basket weave option that I am including in the file set. This one I used a, oh, I think this is a white oak and mahogany for this one. I hope you found the assembly video helpful. Make sure to check out the files at welcomehomecustom.com and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.